What's up everyone and welcome to today's video. So it's not like the games are actually too hard today It's just that they're so close together that it makes it really awkward first game is against Bournemouth And then as you can see a couple of days later We play Villarreal in the Champions League and then we finish off the episode against Man City I think what the same again like three days after so two big league games and a Champions League game for today's episode We have to win them all Gotta win them all. So I was thinking about playing the second team for this game against Bournemouth, but then I'm looking at the table. We're literally joined top with Chelsea at the very top with 23 points each. So I really need this win and I can't really afford to be losing anything. So most of the starting 11 has to play today. It's three games in a row. We'll swap it around for the next game against Villarreal and then we'll probably put it back together for the City game. But I think this team is good enough. We're putting in Henrix just to give Kimmich a little bit of a rest. And the only reason I'm putting in Aki because we bought him from Bournemouth. So let's let's play him against his old club. Let's see what poor keeper and poor defence have to deal with Werner and Mbappe today. Charlie Daniels is the only man I know there. Stanislas. I don't know any of that midfield. What is going on? The amount of substitutions or the amount of transfers that happen in this game is too much. I know King up top there as well. And maybe some on the bench, yeah. There's a good few players on the bench that we know. Jermaine Defoe is on the bench as well. Can always come on and impact a game. But not today. Mbappe just collected. And one more. Into Werner. Takes a touch. Ooh. Still into Pulisic though. Pace booster on that defender. Swinging in back post. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. What a goal. What an everything to do with that attack. Look at that. Pulisic with the pace boost. And a beautiful cross into Barkley on his weaker foot. And we're 1-0 up. Bournemouth with, with the corner. Get out of here. Let's get this away and start a counter-attack. Schneidlin. So much composure that he just chests it down in the middle of the box. End up passing it to them and now it's a goal. I'm not really sure what is after happening there to be fair. I think the confidence may have got to my head. Like Schneidlin just chested it down. Bailey said I'll take that. I tried to play a true ball into Barkley. Didn't really work out too well. Come on, boys. Henrix. Henrix, you were the one that came and asked me to play. Now, don't be playing shit, all right? Okay. Glad we got that sorted. Yes. Now, let's play it out. Into Schneidlin. Schneidlin sees Barkley. Barkley's ahead of him now. So he turn him. Yes, sees Werner. Can he play him through? Oh, it's a beauty of a ball. It is a beauty of a... What the fuck? How did he fucking miss the first chance? What a ball by Ross Barkley, though. Gets the goal and now an assist. Barkley is on his way to man of the match. Boom. ta Brilliant. Into Ross Barkley. Barkley sees the run of Pulisic. Pulisic sees the run of Werner. Werner sees the run of Mbappe. Mbappe sees the keeper off his line but can't score. <sighs> Pulisic swing that ball in. Yes. It's a goal. Werner head. Oh, we just couldn't do anything with it. Okay, we're just playing it now. We are just playing the ball around. Bournemouth have no idea what's even going on. Driven pass into Mbappe. He'll hold on to it. He'll wait for the run of Pulisic. Pulisic. Wh what? Pulisic? That was your cue to score. Great ball draw. I feel the, I feel the long finesse from Barkley. I just feel it. I don't know why I felt it. I shouldn't have felt it. Preparing ourselves for that big game against Villarreal in the next game. So we're changing to a 4-3-3. Taking off Werner and Mbappe. Just putting Rooney up top by himself. And we're also bringing on Sigurdsson and Davies just to keep the team rotating. Look at that. Great kick out. And into Bailey. And into Tom Davies straight away. Tom Davies into Rooney. Oh, look at all this space here for Leon Bailey. One touch. Back into Rooney. Sees loads of space for Pulisic. Surely this is the game. 3-1. Done. Oh, there's no keeper in the goal. Rooney from the halfway line. Oh, hmm. All right then. End of the game. We played unreal there and so did Bournemouth. It was actually a really, really good game. But Pulisic gets man of the match. He gets the goal. Barkley gets the other one. And Timo Werner gets the third one. Assists come from Barkley, Rooney and Pulisic. So overall a good game. Hopefully everybody's ready to go again in the next couple of days against Villarreal. And after that game, Chelsea also won as well. So we're still 26 apiece up top. The title race looks like it's going to be close this season. And that is going to be very interesting and that's exactly what you want. So motivation to keep you winning these games. So like I showed you at the start, there is no time for anything else but games in this episode because they're all so close together. So this is how the Champions League group stage table is looking like nearing the end. We just have to play Villarreal and Leipzig and that is the end of the group stage. We're currently on top by 10 points. So if we beat Villarreal here, they'll stay on 8. We'll go up to 13. We'll be 5 points clear. It'll be looking very likely then to be finishing the top and getting a good draw for the next stage so hopefully that happens so the squad we're putting out for today we're keeping the two boys up front I just can't bench them how can you bench the two boys who are an absolute 
tearing up the pitch every single game, putting in Dowell as the attack midfielder, Vlasic and Luckman out either side of the wing, leaving Schneidlin there, putting back in Kimmich, taking off Tan, putting in Keane this time, and then we're also putting in Galloway instead of Sessegnon, just to change it up, because we do have another big game against City, so... It's not looking too bad. I think we do need to invest in January though. The team is looking very bare in certain areas. So that's something to look at. But for now, we're doing fine and we're doing great. We're doing fine and we're doing great. English motherfucker, do you speak it? Villa Real starting 11 to face us today. Bakumbu up front. Bellarabi they have in there as well. That looks very nice. Semedo in the centre back. Ah, it's a pretty decent team, a 4-4-2, you rarely see that these days, so even though ours is a 4-4-2 diamond, but whatever. Oh, look man, with the tackle, brilliant bit of play, up to Werner, Werner hit that one too with Mbappe, and back into Werner again, oh he has it, Werner has it, oh fuck, too many defenders, edge of the box, hit it first time, oh referee, referee, what is going on? You need to go to Specsavers ref, because that was an awful decision, he's a lovely run by Werner, Werner, oh, over the top. Yes, Velasic. Hit the volley if you can get it. Oh, he actually got the volley on it. I wasn't expecting him to get a clean touch on that at all. If that went in the top corner, I was just going to scream. Just going to scream. Sees Velasic. Velasic, no. Oh, ruins the defender. Ruins that defender. And swing it in first time. What a ball. Has to be a goal. Oh, on the volley and everything. On the volley and everything. Look, man, collects. Oh, ruins that defender. Oh, there's too much skill going on in this game. What a ball. Has to be a goal. Velasic. Is your head warped or something? How did you not get that? Is there a dent like here in your head that made that ball go that way? How? That's lich that might as well be an open goal. Mbappe just playing with them. Now we're just toying with them. Even though we're still not winning, but like, oh great ball. I'm talking shite. Oh no! What a tackle! What a tackle! He grew like a third leg to get that. I don't even know what just happened there. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. I'm disappointed. But what a goal! Okay, it wasn't the result I was kind of hoping for, but that's a pretty decent finish. Like, they found a lot of space on the edge of the box. Nobody was tracking back, really. And it was a pretty decent finish, so 1-0 down. If we don't beat Villarreal, how do we expect to beat, like, Bayern Munich, Barcelona, Real Madrid? It doesn't even make... What just happened there? Don't shush me either. This is crazy, Villarreal. What? I'm so confused, how did that just go in? I thought Pickford got over his near post blues. Let me see this again, they're passing around, no danger. No danger whatsoever. Aki, had him covered. I, I don't know what to say there, that's crazy. How did that just go in? Pickford is annoying me. Let's just face it, he's annoying everyone. So I think this game is, there's 15 minutes left, we're 2-0 down, we're getting destroyed. We might as well just make some substitutions. Let's bring on Rooney instead of Mbappe, Klassen on there instead of Dowell, and then Odegaard on instead of Vlasic. See what that does. We absolutely blew our chance here to get top of that table. Into Galloway. Galloway, we might as well keep pushing forward. Like, what's the worst that could happen? We concede another goal. Schneidlin. Into Werner. Werner. Rooney, this is your spot. Rooney off the crossbar. It would have been a consolation goal, but at least would have restored some pride within the club. No, Espinosa. Don't rub salt in our wounds. Do not rub salt in my wounds. 3-0. It's the worst day. It's the worst day ever. I don't even know what's going on. They absolutely destroyed us today. 3-0 down. That's the end of that game. And another near pole. I don't even want to watch that. That's it. Game over. No, I'm done. Such a sad day. We had our chance, and not only did we lose, we got absolutely destroyed. No man of the match for us. Who Nobody got a goal. I just realized that there's no assist. I don't even know why I'm looking at this. I'm just so used to it. No. I don't even know who I am anymore. Nah, I'm over it now. So this is our shot at redemption. We are away to Man City. We gotta show these Everton fans that the last game was only a minor speed bump in what hopes to be... Wait. Wait. Wait a second. What's going on here? What's going on in this breaking news? I was just about to do my epic intro and then I see another player of the month announced. And it's Timo Werner! Oh, what is going on? There's so many Everton players winning it. We got Kimmich, we got Mbappe. I think that this is Werner's second time winning. I'm not sure if it was in a row. I don't think it was. I think Mbappe was the last one. Four months in a row, Everton. Everton players win player of the month. Okay. Now, let's go back to the epic intro to this game. Man City, away. We gotta show the fans who's boss here. And this is the team we're going for. The original starting eleven. 
The only starting 11 that seems to work, putting in Guy instead of Schneidel, and that's the only change to the starting 11. Because you know why, because he's quick. That's it. Sold out Etihad Stadium as usual. Did Ederson just have a headpiece on his head? I thought Czech was the only person who had that. Okay, let's just go with this anyway. I didn't see the back line because I was too confused. I don't know any of this team. Who's Coyote? Hey Zeus, who's Jinchenko? I know him. Humphreys Grant, what kind of name is that? What's going on? I'm so confused. I know what happens with these kind of games. The Etihad Stadium is so big that there's like literally so much space. You can kind of take a touch and relax for a second after. So it's not too bad. Barkley, over the head. Oh, hit the volley. Don't care. Oh, nearly. Oh, great space. Hit the shot. Oh, Mbappe nearly gets the shot away. Mbappe just hit the one-two there from Gaia. Gaia, keep pushing forward that. You have the strength and the pace to keep going. Maybe not the ability, though. Kimmich, great ball into Pulisic. Oh, it's the man that you want on a counter-attack. It is Christian Pulisic. Werner hits that one-two off Barkley, but goes to Mbappe instead. But Mbappe will complete that. And Werner's in if we can get the head. Oh, we get the head, but we just can't complete the counter-attack. Gabriel Jesus is literally lethal in this game. Imagine I could have three strikers. I'd have Mbappe, Werner, and Jesus up front. That would just be lethal. I thought, I literally thought that was going in near post again. Oh, man. That would have been a disaster. Look at that. Oh, that was close. That was close. Guy, yeah. play Barkley. Oh, Barkley's there. Hit the long shot. Ross Barkley off the crossbar. What? I thought it was gone in. Come on, boys. Yes, ta. Yes. Let's go. Let's go up to Werner. Werner hit the one too. Oh, he's ruined him. He's ruined him. Yes, and just about gets the ball in. Werner, your time to shine. Get the goal, Werner, in the back of the net. I'm still confused why Ederson's wearing a headpiece. I'm fully convinced Czech is the only one in this game with the headpiece, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But who cares? We're 1 0 up. This was a very, very tough game so far. The Bournemouth game was tough. We got fucking spanked by Villarreal. And now this game is tough. Maybe, just maybe, the sliders are starting to work. Oh, look at all this space down this left wing. Leon Bailey is going to exploit that. Hits the burber spin. Oh, ruins that defender. Just leaves him for dead. Hits Barkley. He hits it. It's shit. I'm going home. So Mbappe does have a small little injury, so let's not keep him out for longer than he needs to be out and just take him off completely. Bringing on Davies instead of Gaia. Klassen instead of Barkley. And obviously we have to put on Rooney instead of Mbappe. Just in case he's out for a couple of months because... We won't be able to survive without him. Rooney into Werner. Oh, Werner, this is your, your time to shine. Oh, what? That definitely went through the post or something. That looked, it was freakishly close. Let me see this replay. Oh, 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 so close. Man City are just spreading us apart. This is crazy. Oh, good shot. Oh, it hits off the post. P Pickford on his near post just freaks me out. I don't know why. Why is he so bad at his near post? Is that like a trait that he has or is this just a small glitch in the game? I have no idea. They have their two centre backs up top. Oh, what? What just happened there? No way. No way. Why did he just not catch the ball? Oh, Pickford is pissing me off. He's costing us games, man. I didn't mean to head it back to him, but the computer did it anyway. But you just have to catch it. Like this, watch, I'll show you Pickford. That's it. Why did you make such a fucking big deal about it? Now it's one all. You just have to cost us the game if we don't win it in the end. Pickford, let me see you. Let me see you. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, it's the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh, I don't even want to look at it anymore. Come on, Werner. You're the only one up there, really, that I can run in behind with. Klassen. Oh, Werner's there. Yes, take your time. Hit the shot. Werner, back in the net. 2-1! What the fuck am I doing? Timo Werner saves the day. Klassen with a great run and just look at the amount of space we had. I really wanted to take my time there because if I missed that, I wouldn't be able to sleep for at least a couple of minutes. And that is how you get the job done. It was looking bleak once they scored there in the last 10 minutes, but we got very lucky and Timo Werner ended up scoring the winner to make it 2-1. A crucial three points that could very well win us the league at the end of the season. We do not know that yet. But Timo Werner obviously gets mad of the match with his two goals. The assist coming from Klassen and one from Ross Barkley. The two attacking midfielders, which is what they are there for, which makes me happy. But we got bad news. Mbappe is going to be out for three whole weeks. That mightn't seem like a lot, but that's at least four or five games where we won't be playing Mbappe. So the whole system of the whole entire team has to change now. So we don't know if we're going to be three points clear at the top of the table just yet because Chelsea have the game in hand. But it's important that we got those three points to keep us at the very tippity top 
of the Premier League. Well, that is the end of the episode. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to drop it a like. If you are new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Want to interact with me? Comment section or follow me on Twitter. Link for that is always in the description. And I'll see you in the next one.